Alright guys, welcome back to the basic tutorials and tactics. I am Jericho. How's everyone doing? You can't answer me. Oh well. Anyhow, today we're going to be discussing little basic tips, tricks, and actually a special vortex or reset, depending on how you want to see it, with Quan Chi. And we'll take it away. Quan Chi, huh? He, I hear tell he gets a very bad rep in this game that he is arguably one of, if not the worst character in the game. So this is going to be very interesting. Yes. Now, one of the main things that a lot of Quan Chi players will use is um, setups. Primarily with um, the 2-1 or the YX. This actually works with very effective block strip. Now, obviously, I don't have the computer blocking, but even as it is, it keeps them in a very good block state to where you can actually be able to go into the EX rooms, which actually ends up going into more combos of that sort. Um, <clears throat> another really big thing to learn is the sky drop, which is down back A, or to make it a lot easier, it's down back 3. What this does is it actually allows you to do like a slight teleport, and you can stop on the opponent. You hold back, you can land in front of them. Hold forward, you land behind them. Oh, you can steer that? I did not know that. Yeah. Now, where it gets even more fun is you can actually add combos. Oh, you can actually finish combos. One more time. Wrong. There we go. Oh, very you can actually nice. finish off combos with the one that actually goes behind. The reason being is while the sprite is actually propelling itself backwards, your your sprite is actually propelling itself to get behind them. Once they finally get to the uh, trajectory point, it actually lands right on top of them. Okay, so the hitboxes will still connect in that situation. Right. Um, another big thing is, there's a lot, like, getting back to some of the vortexes, there's a lot of really big vortexes that some people claim that they find. Some of them have been confirmed, some of them haven't. Um, this is actually one of my personal favorite vortexes that I actually made, which is, it starts off with a target combo that is back A, and then you hit X and Y simultaneously. So, this right here is actually going to be the beginning steps to it, and I'll show this to you. Okay, you start off with this, and while they're popped up, you would then go into forward one, two, and then you can cancel this into the trance. Now, what's great about this whole setup <coughs> is, once the setup is going in, you could, if you really want to go into the EX trance, in case they're getting ready to do breaker, or that you think they may go into an X-ray, the EX trance actually takes 30% of the meter from your opponent. That's very nice. Oh, it's freaking beautiful. Um, so, we'll start off the beginning, uh, we'll start off the beginning part of this vortex here. There's now a the trance. Here. And then you, you go into the XXY target combo, and you, do, and you combo that, and you buffer into the sky drop, and you move them behind. And you land right behind them. Right. And in optimal position to repeat the process. Correct. So what this ends up doing, is, like the reason why this, why this version of the sky drop works uh, instead of this, or instead of that one, which I can't be able to get apparently today. Um, the reason why that one works actually a little, bit, a lot differently is because the damage scaling, um, if I'm not mistaken, the damage scaling properties change, or I'm sorry, the hit stun deterioration, to where they actually fall a little bit faster than they would with the, with your basic. Oh yeah, now I can get it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I got it. Yeah. So from there. You can actually, right when, right when you're behind them, you can actually just go right into the process again. What makes uh, this combo so great is the fact that the second hit is an overhead. Okay, so if they're blocking low, they're going to get hit. Right. And with everyone seeing that this low shot, they're going to they're want to block low, which then gets them into this. Once from there, you can finish it off with your basic 1-1-2. One, one, and if you really want... Put a little extra damage on them. A little flare with yeah. the uh, EX rune. Right. And the EX rune, if uh, you didn't see it here on the screen, is actually an unblockable. 
which is fantastic. On top of that, if they're standing and not in the, if they're not in the air, then it actually causes them to stagger pretty bad, which means after that's activated, you can actually dash in to continue your combos and continue your pressure. Very nice. It is. I love it. Um, one of the big things I will say is the skeletal boost, which is down back B, is definitely one of those wild card situations. You have the, the health boost, which actually gives you, I believe, about 10 to 15 per, like maybe up to 10 percent health back if you don't get hit out of it. Right, I know if you get hit, you lose either either the health boost or the damage boost, depending on what is active. Right. Um, or, if you get the damage boost, which is not that, uh, like I said, it's complete wild card. I'm assuming that there you cannot control what you get. No, not at all. But when you do this... Still 32% damage. Yeah. Now, what makes the uh, damage boost really unique is it normally lasts about 3 to 9 seconds just by itself, or unless you get hit out of it. The way how you can actually extend the, the uh, damage boost duration, though, is if you're in the middle of a combo. So, hopefully, if I can be able to get this. No. Okay. There's the damage boost. Now, I can go into... Into the X-ray. Yes. This is going to hurt. Yeah, you're going to see about 54 to 56% damage on this. And that is 10 hits, 54% damage. Yeah. Pretty yeah. nasty chunk taking out of a rocket right there. Yeah. Now, the main thing that I would suggest, if you are going to, if you do want to use the skeletal boost, I would actually recommend the EX version, or the enhanced version, which is... Basically, just doing down back B and then you press block at the same time. This gives both the health and damage boost, so you don't have to worry about either one that you're facing. So, that does take a little bit of the wild card factor out of it because now if you use burn the meter and you can control it. Yeah, you can actually you end up getting both, which does turn out to be something nice. Now. What ends up happening with uh, some of the factors is your EX uh, Sky Stomp is actually really good. Your one thing that I will say, your best bet on wake up when you're using Quan Chi is actually the block. The Considering what you can do with that, yeah, I don't see what else you could do except block or use a really good wake up. He actually doesn't have too many great wake ups. That's the only problem. Gotcha. All right, folks, that wraps it up for part one of our Quan Chi tutorial. Stay tuned. We're going to have a link to part two of our tutorial uh, attached to the description of this video. Thank um, you. For it's it's going to be under the box thing. <laughs> I promise. You heard it, folks. <laughs> Stay tuned.